Welcome to your Sunday Gardener. I'm John Collins along with Carrie Engel from Hello. Valley View Farms. The, the humidity and heat of summertime can be rough on plants in many ways, but among them is uh, the, uh, the spread of fungus problems. That's right. And you see it a lot on leaves and you see it on leaf spot. Um, you know, if you're not sure what it is, bring it on in, let, let some of the experts take a look at it. We have a microscope here where we can kind of put things under and determine what you've got. You can also go on the internet. There you go. And, and look Absolutely. for symptomatic things. So, some of the solutions, like this is a rose bush that's got a little of this stuff on it. If you look at carefully at this one little leaf we picked out, all those little black spots on a rose bush, that's black spot. That's black spot. One of the best things to use for black spot is this infuse. It's, uh, it stays in the plant system for a while, so it'll really fight it off. But you, you apply it to the leaves. You apply it to the leaves, and you don't want to use it too, too often. But you can also, uh, I would spray the, the whole plant, including the soil. As with any chemical, read the labels, uh, keep your kids away from it, uh, use as directed. Uh, we have something called neem oil here. Yeah, neem oil is great. This is actually like a suffocant, so we use this a lot for insects. Uh -huh. But it also helps things with uh, powdery mildew and some other things where you're just kind of smothering the, the fungus and it goes away. Um, but it'll also take care of some insects that may also spread disease. So you want to watch that. Now, you don't want to apply this, like right now it's very hot <laughs> and very right. sunny. You don't want to do that at the height of the day or to burn the leaves. That's right, like uh, me putting yeah. on baby oil and going out on the beach, right? right. Don't want to do it. This has to be in, in the evening or early morning or something like that. Right. And there are also other, other insecticides. This is spinosad. Uh, this takes care of thrips, and thrips can spread tomato spotted wilt virus and some of the impatience viruses, so it's a good it's one to have. It's not the insect, it's the fungus they, they carry they, with them. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Now, this is one of the best new things that, that I know about. This is revitalized. It's a biofungicide. So what this does, it's a type of bacillus that helps the plant kind of fight things off. It helps the plant's immune system. So this is great for late and early blight in tomatoes, mm -hmm. and if you haven't sprayed yet, you know you're going to get it. I mean, you just do. Right. For most of the things. It's also great for things like this. We got um, a lot of mandevilla that we got up from Florida this mm -hmm. year. It's had a lot of rain on it, so we've had to treat that. And in store, we like to use the natural products uh, because this we don't, is something that you water, water into the soil. You can water it or you can spray it. Oh, you can spray it and yep. put it on the leaves. Yeah, Either way. It, but you're so really it can better be off spraying, spraying it. it really wants to go on the leaves. It. Yep. And again, follow the directions because the timing is going to be important. You don't want to overuse any of these products, uh, but you want to use them at the right time in the morning so you're not affecting anything else that's outside. And the safety and aspects of it right. as, as well. So the key here <laughs> to fight a fungus really is to pay attention to your plants and go after the right solution. That's right. Go after the right solution. Exactly. And read labels on anything you get to make sure you're doing it right and everybody's safe. You've got that right. Carrie, thanks for joining us Thank next you. Sunday. More about your garden, we hope fungus free, <laughs> on Sunday Gardener in just a minute.